Hey guys, it's Doris from Look Amazing and I'm back with a what's in my bag video. And I have mentioned this bag in one of my favorites video, but I didn't go into too much detail, so I thought I would do a more detailed review now and also show you guys how much it can actually carry. And this is also the bag that I've been using for the past couple months as well. And it is the Madewell Transport Tote, and this is in their mini size. The bag itself is a great size. I think it holds pretty much your everyday essentials and more, but it's not big enough to hold big things like a laptop. But I use it for pretty much my everyday bag. And I just also love the fact that it's this soft pebbled leather, and it's not too soft and it's not too stiff, although it has softened as I've been using it, but it's still quite sturdy. And the fact that it's pebble, I like that because it doesn't scratch as easily. And with the two top handles, I find it convenient to either tote it or sometimes I'll put it on my forearm when it's not too heavy. But I actually use this strap quite a lot and the straps are detachable. So, and it is adjustable as well, so you can use it on your shoulder or as a crossbody. But overall, I just really love the fact that it does have a zipper so I don't have to worry about my things falling out. So overall, the quality is pretty great and the corners are holding up quite nicely as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I actually carry inside and you can see how much it actually fits. Before I take out everything, just wanted to mention that there are two small compartments on the side. So it has a cell phone pocket and also another one that you can keep miscellaneous things in there and I use those a lot so I don't have to dig around the bag for my smaller items but yeah so now I'll show you guys actually what I have. The first thing I have is my cell phone and I switched up the case to this kind of more marbly print and I also added on something else this is called a pop socket so essentially it sits flat and then you can kind of pop it out so you can easily hold your phone if you want to do selfies, but I actually use it because I like to prop it up. So if I'm watching like a video or a show, I can just prop it like this and it is quite convenient. So and then if I'm not using it, then I just pop it back in. I also have this handbag hook by Muji. I've been using this a lot, especially after I've been pregnant because there's not a lot of room now to put my handbag behind my back if I'm sitting down at a restaurant for dinner. And also if you are sitting at a bar, I find it dangerous to put your bag on the stool because that's how I got one of my handbags stolen. So I find this to be very convenient because this one pretty much just sits on the edge of the table and then you can take your handbag and just attach it on the hook. So your handbag is always in front of you and you don't have to worry about it and I find that it's much more comfortable dining that way versus having your bag behind your back. I have a few beauty items that I carry with me in one of those small pockets and I pretty much featured these in my other videos so I'm not going to go into too much detail and just kind of show you guys what I carry. So this is the GlossierBomb.com and then I have the Ilia lipstick. This is the color Bang Bang which is my classic red lip. And then I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is their illumination one and I love this concealer and I always carry it with me for those emergency blemishes. I find the coverage to be really great and also thick enough that it can cover even the worst blemishes that I have. And then last but not least is my Roto Lysi Contact Eye Drops and I just really love these ones because it has a nice cooling effect. And I also have a pencil and this is the one I use with my planner which I will show you guys in a bit. And I also carry with me my charging bank as well as a cord. And I love this cord keeper that I found. It's a really nice way to keep it all nicely organized. It's not getting all tangled in my bag. And this cord bank, I featured it in my prior video, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. But if you guys are interested in it, it's a really nice, slim, lightweight one that I use to charge both my phone as well as my headphones. I also have my wallet, which is my YSL card case. And I've been using this for quite a while and it's held up really well. The leather is really stiff So it pretty much looks like brand new and I just carry my essentials with me Just credit cards license and a few reward cards So I like to keep my wallet still nice and lightweight 
And I also have this snack pack, which I find really convenient. This is called the Ghost Stack, and I think most people use this for the protein shakes for working out, but I actually use it for my snacks, so I carry walnuts at the bottom, and I love the fact that I can just twist it off and just carry this if I wanted to. And then I have almonds in the middle, and then sometimes I'll carry kind of those chocolate covered berries on top, but I think I've already ate them all here. So yeah, I find it really convenient, and you can just kind of easily pull it out. And in the future, you can get more to kind of stack up more if you wanted to. So I highly recommend this for those of you guys who love to bring little snacks with you. I do have hand sanitizer with me. This is the Mango Antibacteria Hand Sanitizer by The Body Shop. It smells delicious, and I always use this before. I eat my snacks just to make sure my hands are germ free. And next I have my planner and I just really love this one especially for both the size and layout. It's really nice and lightweight so it's easy for me to travel with and I also do a lot of my planning on the go and then I'll translate it over digitally to kind of set reminders and things like that. But just to plan out everything I love kind of going back to pen and paper and this one has a lot of the layouts that I was looking for so I initially wanted to try out bullet journaling at the beginning of this year just because I watched a lot of videos and it seemed like an interesting way to organize things but it just took up a little bit too much time so I went with this format instead because this one does have a monthly view that you can pretty much customize so nothing's dated so you kind of have to date it as you go and then they have weekly formats too, so you can kind of go in depth for each week and then just a few pages in the back that are open that you can kind of write down notes in. So yeah, this pretty much fits my needs and I just love the fact that it's so slim so I can always kind of bring it with me. So I have my keys with me and nothing's really changed except for I've added on this robot keychain and I really love this one because it has an extra purpose where you can pop off the top and you can plug this in into your headphone outlet and that way two sets of headphones can fit in there so if you wanted to listen to music with somebody else or this is also really handy if you're doing a conference call it's really loud both two people can hook in their headphones here and you guys can listen in more comfortably. I also have with me one of these small foldable bags that I can open up if I am buying groceries or any miscellaneous things that I need to carry that won't fit in this bag, I can open this up and put it in this bag. And I also have my wireless headphones. These are by the brand called Phaser, which I hadn't heard about until I started doing my research into purchasing wireless headphones. And these had so many reviews on Amazon. I believe it had over like 9,000 and really highly rated too. So I decided to take a chance and see if they were actually that great. And I've been really impressed with them. And these have different earpieces too. So they're great for every day. So I just use a simple one for every day. But you can also swap them out for these ones with an extra like pointy hook that you can put in to help it stay put if you're working out. And the battery life, I would say, is pretty good too. It lasts about up to six hours, but it's really easy to charge. I charge it on my phone bank, or you can plug it into any USB. And sound quality is great too. Also, I love the fact that it kind of clasps together, so it's not easy to lose because I can imagine myself definitely misplacing these if they were just the single buds. So yeah, overall really impressed and having now gone wireless, I don't know if I can go back to wired headphones. And last but not least, I have my pair of sunglasses. These are the Gentle Monster one in the Dreamer style. So I got these last summer and I really love them because they fit my face really nicely because they're designed for Asian facial features. And I also love the more boxy square shape as well. And that's it for my what's in my bag video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did let me know by giving me a thumbs up and also thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!